Hello, everybody. Hope everybody is doing well and amazing. I really, really hope that. And um, it's Sunday. Live with Carla Nicole. I'm late, but I am not going to forget my dedication and my commitment to my show. Uh, live with Carla Nicole. So, um, if you have not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, I need you to do that if you can. My YouTube channel is Carla Nicole Wisdom Channel. So go over there and subscribe, please. And thank you. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. What's good, Angela? Welcome, love. Welcome. Oh, lovely, lovely, beautiful Sunday, is it not? Beautiful Sunday. Oh, my goodness. I love it. It's gorgeous out here. Let me tell you. So, we're going to talk today about leaving legacy. This is the Manifestation Series. If you guys do not know, I'm Carla Nicole. I'm a wisdom coach. And um, let me tell you, um, because I coach... I also have to realize that coaching is one of the most challenging, <laughs> one of the most challenging jobs out here, but it is definitely the most gratifying. Um, but um, I wanted to talk today about manifesting something in your life and being, being dedicated to creating something being dedicated to um, leave something behind for your family. All of those things are very, very important. Um, and, you know, I, I just, first of all, I want to say Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out here um, doing their thing. You know, the thing about fathers, and for, the, for us ladies, we know, fathers don't play it, do they? <laughs> They give us discipline, they give us uh, guidance, and hard rules, right? I, I know my dad would punish me in a minute, micro minute, if you may, a micro minute, you hear me? But um, my dad's my rock to this day, happy Father's Day, Pop, love you with everything. Um, but I also want to say happy Father's Day to all y'all fathers out there taking care of your babies. Without any question I mean you're doing it because not out of obligation because you know you are passing what you know your knowledge your energy your fathering to your children that's a part of legacy right so um, I want to talk about legacy today because I think a lot of times we don't um, the only time we really um, kind of feel the feel the sadness of legacy is when someone passes on or passes away or dies and so a lot of times that's not that's not often um, what legacy is really about <laughs> I think we just don't realize that every day we could be striving to um, accomplish our legacy we can actually live to see our legacy be birthed and accomplished. We don't have to die for people to actually acknowledge what our legacy is. You know, when Nipsey Hussle died, um, it was pretty sad. But he went out like a G. And what I mean by that is that man left, his children were taken care of, his brand didn't suffer. He was still able to do what he what what he had created is still being able to to live on even after his passing. Um, his existence is still strong even though his life is over. But a lot of times we don't think about our legacy 
at all when we're going through our walk or our path in life. And the reason why I created the manifestation series is because I want you to now be taking heed to every single day you are breathing. That what can you do to change the planet? I want you to think about that. Today, we, you know, we hear these sayings like live each day as though it's your last. You know, those kind of sayings. And I mean, they're, they're um, dreadful to hear, but they're really very important to live by. So, you know, I on honestly constantly, I mean, stress to my children the importance of creating. Create, 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 create. I say it to them all the time. My 20 year old daughter and my 11 year old son, I tell them both, I want you guys creating. What are you creating? Are you creating something? What are you doing? They know they can't come to me if they're not creating something. So I'm big about putting the putting a pulse on them to see what are you creating, but I do the same with myself. Am I creating? Or am I just taking up space on the planet? Ugh. Not a lot of people are going to get this, but it's vitally important that we do. You know, being on the planet is a gift. But more importantly, it's very important that we leave our legacy here so that we live on so our children can pick up the torch and run and, and have something to run with. What is your torch? What are you leaving your babies? Are you leaving your babies anything? And I'm not talking about money. I'm talking about what are you leaving your babies? What are you leaving your family if in the event you pass on? Are you leaving them something? We have to think about this stuff. Not when we're in our deathbed. We need to think about it now while we're in our prime, while we have our while we have our sharpness in our minds, while we have all of these things. What are we leaving our babies? <laughs> what are we leaving our family? So why I say it's so important that we manifest and we focus on what we're creating, because when you create something, your children or whomever else that you that you pass on your legacy to can pick up the torch and carry it forward. See, immortality is not impossible. Immortality is not impossible. Immortality meaning that you will live on well after you pass on. But are you willing to do the work? Are you willing to, you know, through the years, some of us can say, you know, I've had a nudge to do this. Or I've had an inkling that I should be doing that. Or I shoulda, coulda, woulda done this if I didn't have this or didn't have that. Or, you know, we always have excuses, right? Well, if I wasn't married and I wasn't so demanded on that, I could be doing this. You know, all of those things. Or if I wasn't a mom and I didn't have to work three jobs, I would probably be doing this or whatever. But we have to sacrifice in order to create. Or, or grow what they're working so hard to accomplish. We have we have people around us all the time that's trying to move, trying to gain, trying to grow, and they are they are pigeonholed because they don't have any help. And we'll sit there and be like, oh really? And we'll act like there's nothing I can do. I have my own stuff. It's like, well, do you? What are you creating? You gotta think about the little products, man. Let's just think about the little products. Dawn, Dawn detergent, dish detergent. It was in somebody's mind first. Somebody thought about creating a dish detergent. And we go and buy, we go over here and we buy Dawn with no problem. We'll go to the store, we'll pick up a, a bottle of Dawn and won't even think about it. But remember, for that product to be in the stores in abundance, it was in somebody's mind first. Oh, well, I want to buy a uh, gain or I want to buy, you know, um, root beer or anything. I mean, anything that we use on a regular basis. Somebody had that in their mind first 
before it was ever before it ever came to existence so we have to start sitting down and paying attention to what is it we can create on our own to inspire something to change the planet what can we do and you know like i said this 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 series, which is the Manifestation Series, is very, very unique. And it's going to prick and prod at those people that are on the fence about taking charge of their time here. We don't know how much time we have on the planet. All we know is the now. And just imagine, if you've been prodded and, and, and pricked to do something, and you've sat on it for what, 5, 10, 15 years, Imagine if you would have started doing it when you first got pricked and where it would be now. But now that I'm here and I'm, in, I, I'm, I'm totally encouraging you to start moving and start doing now what it is you're pricked to do, go on and start. It doesn't matter. And, and, and run with it. I mean, take full control of what you have to do and do it anyway. We always have excuses, man. We can think of a ton of reasons why we can't do something always but when it comes down to it we have to really start sitting down and paying attention to what is it we can make a change for what can we do how can we how can we create can we create do we have it in us i create all the time i'm actually wearing my creation right now solo my solo line that I didn't have belief in the in the line it was just that I had to be very intentional about bringing the line out how to do it strategically what do I need to do who's going to be the ones that want to buy it who's going to be the ones that really are going to support me all of those things so I had to sit down on my product that I had in my head for three and a half years and had to sit on it and wait be patient but my patience was intentional it wasn't because I didn't believe in it. It was the fact that, oh no, I have this, this line, but I'm gonna shove it for a while. I have a play called Right My Wrongs that I have shelved. Powerful play, powerful. I have the whole script and everything done. Powerful script, but I've had to shelve it. It's not because I don't believe in it, it's because I have to take the time to be intentional with bringing it out. It's about timing. But just because of the timing, it doesn't mean that I don't believe in it or it doesn't mean that it's not going to come to life. It just means when you create something, sometimes you have to create and you have to be intentional with your creation. And in that intention, you have to take the time to move at a different pace. But even with these lines, solo, right my wrongs, and a lot of other things I've created through the years, um, you know, I haven't, I haven't shunned upon trying not to be mindful of what it takes to create. Understand something. When we create something and we start to really pay attention to what it is we need in our, in our life to get something to come to life, we start to pay attention to what it is I'm going to do to pass to my children. And if you're not going to pass your legacy to your children, or who are you going to pass it to? Here's here's my here's my thing. A lot of times we're 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 on the fence about who we trust. Are we not? We're we're a little we're a little um, I don't know unnerving about certain people, trusting people. Um, 
we're kind of hesitant to trust others with what we're trying to do um, because of, you know, people disappointing or people um, taking advantage or people trying to destroy what you're trying to accomplish. And that comes with the territory of creating. Unfortunately, that happens. disappointed you or someone didn't have the same energy or someone just couldn't match up to what your ambition was you don't want to stop moving because that person or those people um, just couldn't help you bring what you were trying to bring to life. Um, here's the thing about legacy you know you have to find someone whether it be a family or something else that you trust, that's trustworthy. And how do you know they're trustworthy? Well, people who are trustworthy are usually people that don't want nothing from you. They're not trying to gain from you. They're not sitting there with their hand out. They're not constantly uh, bickering and complaining and handing you receipts of the time they spent on helping you grow something. Those people are people who you can truly value and trust. Because people like that, whoo, they're hard to come by. But they are out here. And when you have people like that, when you're, when you're in the prime of manifestation, You'll find yourself like, wow, I didn't realize I had people that really cared about what I'm trying to do. And when they, when they're, there, they're there to assist, not to take over. They may even be great for counsel, or they may be great for encouragement. But they're not there to try to take advantage of you. So see, when you're talking about legacy... You have to think about who is it that really truly will have my back? Who is it that really truly will advance what I started? I mean, who will give me the greatest applause? And I'm not talking about accolades, I'm talking about applause. And when they applaud, they're excited about the rise. Who will do that? This is very important when you're manifesting. Because you put all your blood, sweat, and tears, like I talked about last week. You put in your sweat equity into what you create. And, um, man, someone just comes and doesn't really care about it or doesn't take advantage of uh, how to pursue it into a better light or a brighter light or whatever, you know, that, that means that your legacy won't live on. So it's important that you pick someone that really, truly cares about what you are trying to accomplish. So why I said it's important that you find someone trustworthy is because those people that are trustworthy don't want nothing from you. They're not trying to gain something. And those people usually have the biggest heart. Just saying. Their heart is big. And they're usually the ones that will sacrifice their time for you. Understand something. Nothing on the planet that we have or that we feel we have possession over <laughs> comes without a price. However, when you sit down and you sit back and you look at your life and you start to really see those people that show up when there's nothing for and there's nothing for them to gain. 
those are the people you want to consider helping you with passing on the legacy if in the event something happens to you. Or just period. You know, this is important. See, the reason why I told you the manifestation series is so important because when you once you manifest something and it starts to grow, it starts to move, it starts to do well, then what? <laughs> you know, then what? What do we do now? Because things can get so big that, man, listen. And then you're like, well, I don't know what to do with that. Well, you have to prepare. That's what I'm going to talk about next week is pre preparing for success. As though it's already here. But I wanted to share with you guys this little vital thing that I think is important. Let's not get to the point where we distrust everyone to the point where we trust no one. Because in order for your, your uh, beautiful things and gains that you get in life, all the things that you're going to try to acquire and all the things that you try to accomplish, everything will go in vain if you pick someone that is not going to pick the t uh, take the torch and run with it for you. Do you have someone in place if something happens like that where you're not able to speak or talk or go unconscious? These are things that are important. What happens to your business when, when something like that tragic happens? We have to think about this stuff now so that in the event that happens, the, 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 the manifestation that you created isn't tanking, isn't over, isn't, isn't gone or vanished. I'm trying to give y'all something that's very, very important. When I create, and I create all the time, I teach people that it is very important that you have in place something to where if something happens to you, your work still are going to move on. Just that simple. I want you guys to get this. It's very important share this video someone on your timeline or tag someone someone on your timeline that's just on the fence about what they want to do or they're doing something right now and they just need this extra pep talk to really know okay i manifested something but i have a hard time like you know detaching from it if something like i mean once you get old and you want to retire from your product or from your your line then what you're gonna, you may want to retire. Do you have someone in mind that could carry on the future of your, of your business? These are things that are important and vital because if we don't talk about it, we don't even have in mind who will carry on for what you're creating. You're, you're doing all the sweat, sweat equity and you don't want it to go in vain, do you? It's like not preparing for your funeral and you got all these people having to donate to bury you. That's the same thing with your creations. If you don't prepare for something that may happen, then you're leaving it to the birds. You're leaving it to, 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 to its own demise because you're not thinking about in the event I'm not able, my whole business is going to tank. So it's important that you sit down and you really pay attention to what it is you have manifested or what you desire to manifest. And remember how important it is to start to stay claim on who you trust. And I gave you a key component of knowing who to trust in your life when it comes to business. And the number one, like I said, the number one thing to trust is somebody that don't have their hand out. They're helping you just, just seeing you rise. They'll clap harder than anybody in the crowd for your rise. They'll be excited for you and happy for you. They'll invest in you. They will put, they will set, damn near donate to you so you can get what you need to get done. Those are true people that care about you and care about what you're doing. Not a lot of people can say that. So if you can't say that, then you need to start paying attention to who really has your back in, 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 in life and in business very very important all right i see i don't have a whole lot of viewers today because this is a, like i told you guys before the manifestation series is a whole different type of series 
This series is for the doers. This series is about the ones that want to get some things done and accomplished. And if you really want to accomplish your goals, you really want to accomplish what you're trying to do, you're really trying to better your life, and you want to have the best things, whatever those best things are you want to have in place, that's fine, but you have to sit down and start to learn to trust again. We get disappointed by one person or many people and we start to say, I don't trust nobody. You can't live like that. You have to sit back and say, okay, let me just, let me be very intentional with my distrust. I didn't say not to trust everybody, but what I did say is be very intentional on who you trust. And you base it upon what the person's real, true intentions are in your life. Are they here to get from you? Take from you? Every time you turn around, you owe them for this and you owe them for that? That's not somebody you put your whole business in and hand it to them. No. <laughs> but the person that's up all night with you, helping you create stuff, helping you get your, your product lines out, and, and those people that are like, oh, I'm helping you, I'm here. Or you call them and say, hey, listen, I can't get to this place real quick. Can you go over there and, and cover my, my people while I'm, I'm, I'm in a traffic jam? Can you do that for me? Absolutely. And they go and take care of that and they don't ask you for a dime? That's trust. See, when you're building, when you're manifesting, when you're creating, understand something. You need people in your life that can cover you when you're unavailable you do so you can't sit and harbor in the thinking that I don't trust anyone because once you get to that pit, uh, that point or in that perspective you're hindering yourself from growing your business from growing what you're trying to accomplish because you're like oh I can't trust I can't I just can't trust them you can you get in your truck or your car every day and you trust it's gonna run so you have capability of trusting. You just don't trust everybody. And that's fine. You shouldn't. But learn how to discern. Well, hold on. I can trust this person because when this person is, is called by me and I need them for anything, anything, and they have the, and they can do it, without question, they will do it. That's someone that can carry on your legacy. That is someone that you need to pay attention to that you can say, okay, you know what? I'm going to keep you in my life because you have a, you have a whole nother, you have a whole nother place in my life outside of just trying to be here to sit here with your IOUs hanging out. Well, I helped you with this. And I, you owe me. Like, really? <laughs> okay. But when you're just really helping and assisting and you don't care about that, I'm not here for that. You can easily be a part of my estate plan. Why? Because they can carry on your legacy. Because 